Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. <laughs> hello, everyone, and welcome to the first part of Mass Effect 2. I am so excited to get right into this game. <sighs> I've been waiting. <laughs> I took a little break because I needed to move some stuff around. I wanted to be at my own setup when I was going to record it. Now, before we get into it, if you are new, welcome. And if you did not watch the ME1 playthrough, then let me give you a rundown of the basic choices that I think are important. <laughs> I hope that, I don't know, I'm probably going to miss a few. I saved Kaden. I let the Rachni Queen go. We let the council die. And we put Captain Anderson in charge. So yeah, some pretty heavy decisions. <laughs> I know some people were not too happy with some of my decisions. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> I am really curious to see how a lot of the decisions that I made are gonna play out. And if they're gonna have a big... I mean, I feel like some of these decisions are huge. Like, the difference that you could probably have in a playthrough because of the decisions you make is crazy. So I am... I'm very excited. And I'm, it makes this game so replayable, which makes it even more fun. Wow, even this opening scene or picture is stunning, man. I just want to play it. We're just going to jump into it, okay? If I miss something, I'm sorry. I'll have the link to the ME1 playthrough down below if you're new and want to check that one out. But let's jump right into it. One of the things I was thinking about, I know I, was, I said I was going to start, but then I was thinking about it while looking at this, and it reminded me of the visions that I had uh, <laughs> in the first game. And I'm wondering if... I feel like some of those visions just didn't still haven't made sense so i'm curious if we'll also get more of that in this game as well okay let's go in i'm ready i'm ready no more waiting <laughs> also a lot of people have told me that this is their favorite game of the three so makes me even more excited and we begin oh i'm definitely importing my me1 character i don't even know why that was a debate <laughs> I find it odd that people are arguing over my character being ugly. I'm sorry if you feel that way. <laughs> I tried my best, okay? I think he looks pretty good. So I'm going to import him for this. Yes. Hopefully this is right. I don't know if this is right. <laughs> Said for players who are familiar with shooters and RPGs. The baseline for Mass Effect 2. Veteran. I played veteran on the first one. <sighs> I'm gonna do veteran for this one. <laughs> I don't know how much harder this game is gonna be. Um, subtitles on. Auto save on. Sounds all good. Oh, wait, what happened? I hope we're ready. <laughs> I want to press that, but we started. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Mm. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, human I, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now, the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reaper is enormous machines that eradicated all advanced civilizations every 50,000 years have returned to quell the rumors the council sent Commander Shepard in the Normandy to wipe out- Why do they not let us read it? <laughs> I gotta read it out loud for everyone. <laughs> um, I'll read it during editing, I guess. <laughs> That's how it always is. Ah, oh, the Normandy. 
Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Oh my god. Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! There's no time. <laughs> I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard. Liara, go. Now. Oh. No, bye, Liara. Stay safe. Not my Normandy. Happy to see my Normandy too. No. Oh God. Go to the cockpit. Okay, I'm going. Mayday! 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 This is SSB. Oh God. I'm going. I'm going. We've suffered heavy damage from another. Y yep. Oh god, I, I would choose the wrong side. I'm going. Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is bad. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Joker, I'm here. We gotta go. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Yeah. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up.
what an opening i have a lot of questions of what just happened i think we just lost presley interactive comic that summarizes the events oh oh yes that's that's great actually <laughs> I'm curious. Now I'm glad that it's doing this. This is really cool. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course <laughs> it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat, as was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, <laughs> nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. <laughs> he turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, 
and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, <laughs> I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. <laughs> I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Aww. Finding Saren. I like Thanks this. It's so cool. Help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novarian, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead, it wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend and a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Katie. It's so that sad. Was the that. last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. 
We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Adina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect. <laughs> no ambition to get in the way. True. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. <laughs> that was really cool. I like that they did that. So, well, now you guys know everything that happened. <laughs> I think I covered it pretty well in the beginning. But that was really cute. Ooh. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. The Lazarus Project. Now, in the last game, I'm pretty sure Cerberus was not good. I was trying to go after them before. 
Um, they killed Admiral Kohoku. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that it, it let me keep it. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to go back into my old videos and hopefully I still have them to see what I, exactly I put, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus Project, man. I'm curious. Um, yes, I'm going with this one. I can change. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna stick with Vanguard. I, I'm just gonna stay with it. <laughs> it's so hard to choose sometimes. Man, me and decisions don't do well. <laughs> Vanguard it is. <sighs> one bonus power. Oh. My achievements. Nice. Sure. <laughs> Looks good to me. I'm ready. <laughs> Man, I'm already having so much fun with this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> We're going. I don't know if I trust them at all. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stack's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. <sighs> hmm. Heart rate dropping. Staff's falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to full. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. I'm stressed. You're you're stressing me out. A thermal clip? Oh God. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, it's near the door. Okay. <laughs> I found it. Oh god. Where are they? Oh, okay. Look out! Stop moving, we need to get to the shuttles. Oh god. I'm going, I'm going. Gotta remember to reload now. <laughs> That's gonna be the hardest part. <laughs> Who else is in here? Shepard, security makes a closing in on your position. Who else is here? Oh god, there's so many of them. I'm stressed. I have a million questions. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, what is this? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm guessing that's a. Uh... Nice. Oh, what is that thing? 
Oh god. I'm going, I'm going. More reinforcements hit. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. Oh god. Elevator down one floor. Sounds like a plan. Right here. Right? Or even further down. Nope, okay. Um. Ooh! <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna get through this? Oh god. I'm coming, I'm coming. In the hell? Access data logs. Oh. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. God, I can't believe they brought me back. Oh. Progress is slow. Okay. Subject shows signs of recovery. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe. How it's long has it been? I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How long has it been though? This is crazy. Hmm. I'm so sorry. Well, that's a lovely reputation. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wow. It's so pretty, though. Ooh. I'm coming! I've got. Oh. Ooh. Adam. Interesting. Oh, hi. Let's just try it out, you know? I don't think it made it. <laughs> okay, short range. I'll keep that in mind. Oh god. What are you doing here? Thought you were still a work in progress. Hmm. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Yes, please. I, I have a lot of questions. Hmm. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been coming Two years. Worse that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Jesus. That... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Yeah, well, I, what about everyone? Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs>
We have to... Oh shit, I didn't do it, did I? <laughs> nice. Sounds okay. good to me. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? A lot. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Mm -hmm. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley mm. was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. No. It's been two years. Oh, what about Liar? Oh, this is so sad, man. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Jeez. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Jesus. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. But why? What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. I'm guessing that's what all of this is. It's glowing. Hmm. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Hmm. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Mm. Yeah, it sounds like she was being attacked. There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. <laughs> Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Well... Let's get going. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. Service tunnels are this way. Okay, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, what's this? Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. God, they're like... This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. I would agree. <laughs> Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. It doesn't sound very happy. You ready? Hmm. Oh, fine. They've seen us. I've got him. 
Nice. Not today. This room is crawling with Max. The whole station is crawling with Max. I'm doing the best I can. True. That'd be the only thing about having that kind of technology is the possibility of it getting hacked. They found me. Help. Wilson. Oh god. Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Okay, I'm going. Oh jeez. It sounds much worse. Ooh. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Hmm. Man, it's, they're obsessed with me. <laughs> Curious of why. Shepard, down here. Oh, hello. Uh, please hold. Let me just check the room. Okay, seems good. The bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. We talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. I got it. Talk to you. Mm-hmm. Guess he's part of the team now. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop hmm. Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Yeah. She definitely is not. So far. If anything, you seem more <laughs> traitorous than, <laughs> than her. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Yeah. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. <laughs> but that doesn't change the facts. He's so quick We're to here. switch it she's up. She's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Oh. Can overload the canisters. The shuttles. <laughs> Don't know when to quit. I mean, do I even need to know? <laughs> I'll still do it though. Where is it? Oh, I'm guessing you have it. Oh, no, you have it. Oh, that's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'll do it just to do it. <laughs> okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. Ooh. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Mm-hmm. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating yep. Sarah. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. 
<laughs> I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts. It's gone. I have a lot. <laughs> I got a lot. <laughs> it just keeps going. I have a lot of codex reading. I'm excited. <laughs> we all know how much I like. Ooh. Thanks. I'm sorry, but thank you. Get ready for some more codex sections. I am so ready for that. What? Why did I say damage shepherd? Did I actually shoot you? I'm sorry. If I did. I thought I could vault over this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's only some things. <laughs> thought I'd try. Go, 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 go. What's over here, though? Hmm, that looks like the right... I guess it all connects. I'll go this way. I think they're gonna be up here, though. Oh. Shit. <laughs> That's some pretty strong... Ah, oh, of course. Of course you're there. Why don't you come out of that, huh? I know your friends up here. Where are you hiding? Oh, <laughs> you got a lot of friends. Let's use. Let's use this. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, behind me. Oh, oh, now you finally get up. <laughs> God damn it. You guys ready? You guys both good? Okay. <sighs> mm, I'll be taking more of that. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Hmm. Hmm. It's a catchy name. <laughs> the Lazarus project. Come on, through here. We're almost at the. Miranda, but you were... <laughs> Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Hmm. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. <laughs> um. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. 
You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Hmm. Couldn't I feel like I knew he was lying. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. <laughs> Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Oh, ooh. Yes, actually. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Hmm. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Hmm. You're definitely not telling me something. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Hmm. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come <laughs> on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. God, I know. Two years. It's just crazy. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? <laughs> two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Oh, it was a hard choice. <laughs> that was so sad. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Hmm. That is a big ship. Talk to the elusive, the elusive man. man is waiting for you in the other room. When subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed Element Zero, or EZO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless ways. 
from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create Mass Effect fields and develop FTL travel. I don't remember it being called ESO at all in Mass Effect 1. Element Zero can increase ma The Systems Alliance Space Vehicle Nor my poor Normandy. Immediately Ooh. following the first contact war, an anonymous extranet manifesto warned that an alien attempt at human genocide was inevitable. The manifesto called for an army, a Cerberus to guard against invasion through the Charon Relay. Derided as survivalist rhetoric written by an elusive man, the manifesto and its anonymous author soon fell off the media radar. But in 2165, terrorists stole antimatter from the SSV Geneva. The sole figure arrested named his sponsor Cerberus. Throughout the 2160s and 2170s, alleged Cerberus agents assassinated politicians, sabotaged starships bearing ESO, and conducted nightmarish experiments on aliens and humans. Denounced as human supremacist, Cerberus calls itself human survivalist. Counter-terror experts speculate Cerberus may have changed leadership with its recent shift to stockpiling ships, agents, and weapons. Whether he, she, or they, the elusive man hides his finances hidden behind shell companies. Few doubt he will kill anyone attempting to expose him. Hmm. The Citadel is an specter. Interesting. I have to go through these and see which ones we've been through later, but I don't think that that Cerberus one was new for sure. Let's look at this. Prologue Awakening. You escape the Cerberus medical facility. The elusive man is the next likely source of information. Save Joker. Aww. <laughs> hey, I like Jacob a lot. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello? The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I can go in casually or with my armor on. I'm gonna keep my armor on. <laughs> Just in case. Hmm. Let's go. Oh? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Hmm. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory is still intact. How are you feeling? Hmm. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. 
That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't mm. know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Hmm. All this seems... I don't know, it's... kind of odd. Fighting a war doesn't seem Oops. like Cerberus. Why are you involved? I didn't mean to do that. We're committed to the advance... <laughs> if the... If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more... If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. <laughs> if what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Hmm. I, I do kind of trust them. <laughs> I trust Jacob. Miranda, I'm still a little iffy on. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. So pretty. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Can I ask any questions on the location that you are in currently? I'm very curious. Uh, would love to build my house with that kind of view. Uh, please get back to me. Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the commons? What about my team, though? The Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Oh god. I guess we're just... Hmm. Well, I, I talked to him. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. Hmm. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. Mm, you he know. was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. I kind of like he that let us do he didn't want to do it. Limit your potential in any way. It's really... God. I find it interesting that he really just only believes in Shepard. 
Yeah, I'm glad he Can't mentioned say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. <laughs> the elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Hmm. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. <laughs> it's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she wants to talk too much. <laughs> I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Yes. <laughs> I feel like he's the only one I trust right now. <laughs> You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. Hmm. That's why I'm here now. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's I all guess for now. so. It's interesting gotcha. to see how different Cerberus is compared to what I thought it was in Mass Effect 1. Oh. Interesting. Mission summary. Ooh, that's cute. Shepard escaped the attack on the facility along with operatives Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was successful. Shepard is back. Nice. Mm. Ooh, I get bonuses for having my other character. So if you don't have a character or you didn't play Mass Effect 1, I wonder what it chooses for you or how it starts, I guess. <laughs> I, that'd be kind of odd. I don't even know. That'd be weird. Oh god, I already have so many credits. <laughs> Let's go. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Hmm. 
<laughs> now I'm in command. <laughs> I may be a little too excited for that. Um. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Hmm. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. That's... Well. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Hmm. Yeah, the best thing would be having someone. Our first priority is to look for survivors. Yeah. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Mm-hmm. And they might know something. I think it would be a great idea. Oh god. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready to do some investigating. around every corner Hostiles are cleared <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Okay just double checking around Oh god okay this is not supposed to be a horror game <laughs> It's like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner Why is it so dark why is there such creepy music playing? I'm pulling out my gun again. I'm too freaked out for that. I've been playing too much horror games lately. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Which means we probably don't even have to worry, right? About anything attacking us yet. Oh, I thought that was a door. It was not. Hmm. I guess we just keep- oh, what's this? I'll be taking that. Open it. Oh, never mind. Yes. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. I actually reload really fast. Make activity. Ow. Okay, you are not about to come over here. <laughs> oh god, it put me like well it ain't this off. <laughs> Oh shit, the fuck. <laughs> um, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> I, how do you use the many gel in this game? Shit. Well, maybe it'll tell me. <laughs> I, I don't know what button it would be. Because my th other thing is. Has got the. Is on triangle. Oh, maybe it's that. Wait. Must be the down? Understood. With you. No, okay, I don't Understood. know. <laughs> I clearly pressed something wrong. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. You are freaking creepy, go away! Stand her! Okay, there we go. Oh, you're still alive. I thought he was dead. Oh. Wait, we didn't... Did we not kill you? You good? Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. Understood. <laughs> Affirmative. Sorry. <Right. laughs> 
<laughs> Be right there. Sure thing. Man, I I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me being confused. Well. Hostiles. Hostiles. Oh. Shoot the shoot the dog. It only believes in shooting me. <laughs> oh, nice job. <laughs> I'll be taking this. Oh. Stop right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. <gasps> Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that <gasps> you're alive? <laughs> you know when stuff is just vague, you're just a little worried. <laughs> Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I uh, long story. Know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Hmm. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Hmm. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. <laughs> Head for the warehouse through the... Hell yeah, Tali! <laughs> we'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. We'll do. Aww, Tommy. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, I'm so happy! <laughs> Aww. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy. I am ready. Of course we're gonna work together. Are you kidding me? I know, it is weird that I'm with Cerberus. I bet you're... <laughs> Hello? 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 Oh. Interesting. What's this, though? It's pretty cool. I like that they turn on when I walk up to them. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Thanks for the warning. Oh, okay. We'll take care of it. I thought they were gonna find me right then. <laughs> but they did not. Activating. Here we go. Oh god. <laughs> I was like, what is that on the ground? <laughs> oh, I learned real quickly. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circ circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Oh, like I'm actually gonna... Wait, so... How that individual knows to find the matching symbols. Oh, okay. I'm gonna mess this up, but... <laughs> uh, like... Oh.
Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Please move. Um, I'm coming in. Who's here? Use overload on him. Holy shit! on charge. <laughs> I guess I could just use this. I don't think it'd be. Oh, I feel like it's personal at this point. My God. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. I'll be taking that. <laughs> it's been a disaster. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Overkill? Probably. Jesus! I don't even see what's shooting me half the time. Like, is it you? <laughs> I feel like it is you. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, they're just always shooting at me. I'll just peek out every once in a while to take the... <laughs> oh, there's one behind me. <laughs> I'm so confused sometimes. I'm gonna be taking that. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Okay. Oh. Going to cover! Taking cover! Okay. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Hold on, let me just grab that. Oh god, I'm glad I didn't use my grenade launcher yet. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Okay, um... Let's get this out. So, I guess I have to direct them? I thought that they would do it... I want to change to this. Does 
have quite a lot of armor. Oh god. Did she die? Oh yeah, she definitely died. Hmm. It would be best to use maybe this. Go, 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 go! Move! No, 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 no. Eh. Into cover! I was really trying to get into cover right then. Oh, this is so awkward. I have no cover! I have no cover! <laughs> and he won't run! Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> what a nightmare. I'm running. Like, he just- Ah, uh, uh, God. I don't even think what would be good at this, honestly. I just can't... I just can't turn fast enough. I feel safe. Let me see. I'm gonna go over here. Where my stuff doesn't break. <laughs> Let him shoot and let them shoot you instead. Oh, is he down? Oh, thank God. Okay, well, that was good. Yeah, that that area. No, thank you. For how fast I need to get out of there. Oh, another one. Let's see. There we go. How much time do I have for that? <laughs> I never looked to see how much time I have for that. Thank you. I'll be taking it. Ugh. This is valuable. Oh. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's no. probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's get going then. Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Save monsters from swarms. Coming back. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Hmm. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. No escape. No hope. Press L2. Can't hide forever. Okay. Interesting. Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. Hmm. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Hmm. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. 
The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Hmm. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. It's so odd, though. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. My they father. find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. And that's why there's never any... Like, actual fight going on. They just immobilize everyone and then take them out and carry them to where they need them. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Hmm. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Hmm. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too no. important for me to abandon. Even no. for you. Uh -huh. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. No. I just tell you, of course. Of He's course. traumatized and he needs medical care. Mm -hmm. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck Aww. out there. If I Aww, find I want her to come with us. You, I'll let you know. <laughs> We're ready for pickup. Hmm. Shepard. Good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. <laughs> Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Hmm. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. 
Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? That's what I'm wondering. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. <laughs> I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Yeah, I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. Mm -hmm. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Get. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Oh. Where's Garrus Vicarian? <sighs> I get to learn. The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Disappeared? Even we haven't been able to locate him. That's odd. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. We know where Tali is, but. What about Tally? She already <laughs> helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Working for the Shadow Broker, huh? Now, that is a surprise. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get <laughs> what you need. On. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Hmm. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Mm. I want my team back. <laughs> I'm Two sad. Two before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. <laughs> I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Alright. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> but they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Good to be home. 
home, huh, Commander? <laughs> I guess we'll have to give her a name. Aww. Normandy too. <laughs> Looking good as usual. Oh, I'm so happy. I just need my actual team with me and I'll be even more happy. I was really hoping that Tali would come with me. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Well, I think that was an amazing way to start this off. I'm so ready to keep playing. I'm still trying to get some of the controls down because they're a little different from ME1, so give me a minute. I have so many questions so far. I really want my team back. I'm hoping that I get them back. That is what my goal is. <laughs> Two years have passed. That is a long time. It makes me really curious of where all the decisions that we've made so far have led up to now, given that they've had time to settle in a way. Um, Cerberus is pretty different from what I thought, and the Reapers are still going to be a problem. The weirdest thing is this: um, these collectors and how they're taking humans and I find that they're taking them unhurt very interesting which means there might be a chance they are still alive hopefully and it's just weird that they would take them alive I find that so odd I'm curious to see if we can head back to the citadel oh god there is so much that I'm curious about I still don't trust this elusive man he's got a really pretty um, office I will say I'm, I'm quite jealous of the office <laughs> but other than that <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I trust him. I'm still curious of what Cerberus really wants from me. It just seems weird that they would want just me to help with this mission. I don't know. I feel like there's more to it than he's not telling me. So I'm going to keep playing, but I'm going to call this part here. Huge thanks to all my patrons, and I will see you guys in the next one.